Hey guys, welcome back to Lulu for the Road. My name is Lisa Paiva and my life is a joke. My name is Louisa. <laughs> <laughs> I found this Georgia fish. She suck on that dick for free. She swallowed that vitamin D. She loving me endlessly. Got some niggas. As you guys can see, I'm back. I'm finally back. I have been off YouTube, I think, for a month. Because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what happened uh, my laptop had problems so i wasn't able to record because i wouldn't be able to edit my videos but that's besides the point because if you guys can see this video now it means that things are okay now you guys can see from the title today i'm gonna be revealing my tattoo my last tattoo because it's the last one i have done i did around my birthday and i'm gonna be talking about healing so if you guys don't want to know anything about healing or what i have to say about the the subject the topic <laughs> you can skip to the end to see just the tattoo uh but if you want to know and learn a bit more with me stay tuned keep on watching and i want to start the video by saying i am sorry because this video is gonna be in english and i don't think i'm gonna be translating this video because I'm doing this video more for myself and because I want to share my experience and what I have learned and I think I feel more comfortable doing that and talking about this subject and in English. So I'm really sorry for my followers that speak Portuguese. I mean, I have been putting out content in Portuguese and sometimes I don't even translate. So I think it's the time for my Anglophone followers to actually get something from me i'm gonna start talking about healing uh, i took some i did some bullet points because i don't want this video to be too long and i want to be very specific with the things i want to say and want to share with you guys so yeah i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with someone that you feel like is gonna need to hear this or take time to actually understand everything that i will share here with you guys and maybe take a look at your actions and the ways you deal with things especially things that hurt you so yeah let's get into it the first point i want to explain is why i didn't show my tattoo before uh as you guys may know or might not know for the new followers i have around eight tattoos and I have always done videos explaining the meaning and showing my tattoos for people to get um, inspiration, for people to understand where I get them. The reason why I didn't show this tattoo is because this tattoo has a really heavy meaning for me. I think it's a really big part of my life and people have been judging me during the time uh, this situation that affected me has been affecting me happened and i think showing my tattoo especially to the angolan community would have been so hard for me to take in because humans are humans and humans just want to say things without understanding so that's why it took long one of the reasons why i also didn't show my tattoo is because for us it's really hard to understand how diverse people's feelings are we all have the same emotions but people don't really understand and respect the way we deal with our feelings or people in general deal with our feelings we expect everyone to deal with their feelings the same way we do so that was my way of dealing with what i was feeling dealing with my pain and i didn't want people to judge me because i wasn't dealing in the same way that they did so that was kind of it for people that don't understand what i'm talking about uh, i lost my best friend recently uh, and my tattoo is for her it's an isn't her honor and to represent her this tattoo represents my pain this tattoo represents the situation that i will never heal from it i of course i have 
learn how to deal with the situation i have learned how to deal with my loss in my own way but i haven't healed and that was you guys might not know but i always explain in my tattoo videos that all the tattoos i get have a really deep meaning or they represent an experience that have taught me something and with the loss of my best friend i have learned so much about putting myself first i have learned so much about not transferring my pain to other people that i like so this tattoo means a lot to me and yeah now we're gonna go and talk about healing when uh, people ask me to talk about healing i think it was because you guys see me of course now i took a break from social media but then i came back and you guys see me not talking about anything not talking not tweeting about how i feel or not posting pictures with my best friend blah 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 that's because we all have different ways of showing how we feel about people that we lose and we all have ways of different ways of showing our pain we all have different ways of expressing our emotions and feelings and i think people were like okay so you seem okay because i think that's the perception people get because they'll be like oh but you're living your life normally you are posting you you know so what's the recipe but it's actually not like this um the situation is way more hard for me because i have lost so many people in my life but i have never thought that i will lose my ride or die i have it would never cross to my mind that it would have like i always thought that i would go first we always had conversations about this and it's just like when i thought that i i knew how to deal with the situation because i lost so many important people in my life but that time this time is different because she was supposed to be there forever you know and it, it was just different and i have my own way of dealing with things and as much as i don't show i think it's important one lesson that i took from it from the whole situation and knowing that healing is a process i think you should always have people around you that understand how differently you take things how differently you deal with your pain it's very important to have people around you that will understand that your pain is not the same our pain is never going to be the same and we got, we are going to deal with pain in the way that we feel more comfortable dealing with um so i think it's very important to understand that healing is a whole process then and never be healed and i think there will be situations where we will never heal completely from it i think it's more of how we learn how to deal with the situation how we learn how to deal with our pain how we learn how to deal with our loss without affecting our relationship with other people and i think we just need to put it like to accept the fact that we are in pain and even though it's not the same as everyone else you are still in pain your pain is not invalid because you are not posting on twitter your pain is not invalid because you're not posting the pictures every day because at some point i felt judged i felt like people were like you know because it was a whole th that's why i needed a break from social media because it was a whole thing of like everyone was always posting everyone was always saying things about her and I was dealing with my pain differently but at the same time I felt like people were judging me for not doing the same things that they were doing but I had to take time to understand that we deal with pain differently and no one should judge the way you deal with your pain because 
my pain of losing my best friend will never be the same as anyone that lost her because it was just never and <laughs> i just want to say sorry to the people that reached out to me and i never opened up but that's just how i am this is just how i am and i think people should understand that people are different and remember that because we all let's say we all lost the same person that doesn't mean that we are dealing with the same thing because this person means different things to us another thing that i want to share with you guys is because of this whole social media thing is it was important for me to take time to understand my process of healing and focusing on myself and how i was dealing with the situation more than how other people are dealing with of course i got mad sometimes because people are trying to like get things out from me people are trying to make me say things people are trying to make me feel bad for not saying things and i guess it's just a human being thing but like if you are going through something take time to understand your pain and your healing process take time to do it by yourself without focusing on how other people are dealing with the situation um i know it's hard but like you are already in pain you don't need the the people's pain to affect you or the way that they deal with it to affect you so when you are healing from something it can be from loss it can be from a trauma take time for you to understand your process of pain focus on your pain first then you can then see how other people are doing dealing with which i don't think is necessary one thing i want to make you guys understand is it's okay to feel vulnerable sometimes i think i was dealing i was i don't think i knew how to deal with my vulnerability at the beginning of my healing process because I have had experience where people take advantage of my pain, people take advantage of my trauma, people take advantage of the things that I went through in the past to hold against me, to go and talk things about me to other people. So I developed a way of dealing with my pain and this way was not showing vulnerability. This way was not talking to people about it. This way was me understanding my pain my process by myself dealing with the pain by myself because it's bad to say but i don't trust people because i do have trauma and yeah it's a thing that i should work on it i will work on it eventually but every time something happens i don't want people to hold this against me because human beings are so mean so when you are healing from something it's okay if you don't want to talk it's okay no one should judge you for not talking about it because it's your process it's your emotions it's your feelings so i don't think you should feel bad or pressure because people are not because you are not, not opening up to the way people want you to open up and it's it's okay like I think we should normalize and respect the fact that not all of us feel the things in the same way our emotions are not the same like don't ever feel bad for not being that type of person don't feel bad because you need to take your time to understand why you deal with things in this way and how important is it to you to actually share with people because there is there are situations that we're gonna share but then what is that going to do to you? One thing I, I feel like is really important for you guys to understand and normalize is when you are healing from something, you will lose other people that you love. And I think you should take time to understand that it's normal, that it's okay. Because when you are healing from something, your pain is going to transfer to so many people you love you're going to create so many expectations to the people you love because you expect them to treat you in a certain way because of the things you are going through i think one important thing to understand is if you really love these people let them go and deal with your pain before 
because you can hurt so many people in so many ways because of the things you're dealing with i have lost someone really important in my life during this healing process but i think i did the best for this person because i was dealing and i'm still dealing with so much that i didn't want person to feel bad for my pain because i didn't even understand what i was feeling so i didn't want to transfer this to this person so i decided to let it go because i think it's important for us to understand that sometimes if we care about people we need to take care of them and if taking care of them means not being around us it's okay you're gonna lose people and it's okay it's okay because you need to take time to understand your things before you put in your pain and transferring your expectations of how people should deal and treat you during this process especially when people don't even understand what you're going through because you are not able to explain or share it i think it's very important to let people go and make sure that you let them go but they need to know that you are letting them go because you are not okay with yourself and you don't want to transfer this to them because you love them i want to apologize for people that cared about me truly cared about me i just want to apologize because it's not easy to deal with people that are in pain but at the same time i want you guys to remember that you should and need to respect the way people deal with things and not judge the way people deal with things because you never know if this is not the first time things are happening because things trauma build up like if people have a certain way of dealing with it's because it's not the first time they are going through it so i want to apologize because i didn't open up enough uh but that was that was my way of dealing with it and i think everyone should respect and give people time to understand so that's it guys i hope you guys learned anything about healing i hope you guys um i don't know i hope i just hope you learn something with this i hope you take time to reflect i hope you kind of understand where i come from or if you don't i at least i hope you guys learn that you need to respect the way people deal with their emotions because we are not all the same respect respect and give people space right now i'm gonna show you guys my tattoo uh so i hope you guys enjoy it. don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you are going through something make sure you give yourself time uh and make sure you always understand what you are feeling before you transfer your pain to other people around you because you're gonna lose them so yeah enjoy guys uh you see the picture now of my tattoo and i'll see you on my next video